the uh, privatization is very important for any country. Saudi Arabia has been taking uh, good steps uh, toward uh, that uh, very important uh, goal. How would that affect the investment environment in any, in any country and especially in Saudi Arabia? Well, I think what we should look at is uh, what is very important is how the government has uh, created a lot of opportunities for involvement of the private sector in a lot of the developments. Uh, for example, it has um, geared a lot of its, let's say, current re revenues to uh, sectors like basic industries, big basic infrastructure like sewage, water, power, electricity. Um, health and education and it has demanded more involvement of the private sector so along that with the investments of the budget basically of the government there will be coming a lot of private sector opportunities um, as an example for example in the educational sector we have seen that um, the government plans include a plan to build about 2074 new schools uh, 41 new colleges and new universities as well now, private investment can be part of that development on many different levels. Um, first of all, the Ministry of Education has requested private companies to be more involved on the level of vocational training and giving training and actually classes. The second wave, for example, would be building of schools, actual the construction. Private sector companies can be involved in that as well. Um, well, the third one would be, for example, the ministries have also requested financial uh, entities and, and local private banks to get involved in financing of that type of projects. So you can see there's on, on the demand of, of creating uh, more focus in these different um, sectors, there's a lot of opportunities come along with that. The same comes for health. New hospitals are being built, there's training for new doctors, schools, etc. The same is actually for water sewage and desalination projects. We've seen a lot of, um, let's say, private public partnerships, uh, management uh, contracts that have been given out. Um, so I think that the government has created a lot of opportunities in that level just because of their focus in developing, let's say, the, the infrastructural uh, sectors in Saudi Arabia for the moment. Okay, let me uh, follow this with another question. Do you get feedback through your, uh, I'm sure you have uh, emails here or your yeah, uh, side. Yeah. What are the, uh, do you answer the questions, especially if they are seeking, let's say, an investment opportunity, would you refer them to the proper uh, channels? I mean, how do you deal with the... If that's the case for with a foreign direct investor or from a local company, let's say. No, usually from a foreign... Uh... Exactly. Actually, we work on two levels. The Oxford Business Group has one arm that focuses on the country reports, as we have in front of us. The other arm is a consultancy arm that is actually had, uh, what their head office is in Dubai. And they provide very targeted um, consultancy services on request. So if we deal with a request from a foreign company that has an interest in a very specific area, we make sure that we have the experts on the ground that can help them out and then we will refer them to the consultancy department that can actually help them with that really target made answers for the questions that they would have uh, for a specific sector and it goes into very you know specific ways and you do this uh, you, uh, let's say it's an inquiry it's not a consultation would you do it uh, for free or would you charge them for the answers Oh, it depends. I mean, if it's a serious question, obviously there are charges involved. It's a, it's a serious consultancy company, and in the project, the work that they do it takes months sometimes, and have people on the ground as well. If it's someone who has an interest in investing in Saudi Arabia for a specific sector, we will help them out by referring them to our copies of the book, or they can meet up with us locally. Because at the end of the day, we are here on the ground, so we can answer those questions. Okay. Let me uh, go to Mr. Hajjaja. Mr. Hajjaja, uh, the financial, uh, global financial crisis has affected uh, uh, almost uh, each single economy in the world. Uh, how would you see, how, how would you evaluate the impact of the financial crisis in the Gulf? Do you think it's more psychological than anything? Yes, indeed, it is more psychological than it is, uh, you know, uh, technical uh, uh, reasons uh, or technical effects uh, uh, as much as it is uh, psychological. And it is another uh, also, uh, there are some speculators taking an advantage of this psychological effects and uh, trying to pressure on the, you know, on the, on the stocks to uh, lower to lower their uh, prices uh, so that they can really start to gather in the end of the sessions 
uh, and uh, then they build up a new level of uh, prices. It's it's uh, it's uh, some some speculators taking advantage of this uh, crisis, and uh, it's going to be some uh, new mergers and acquisitions. And it is again, it's not just only from the 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 locals only it is also from the foreigner investors are really uh, you know targeting that because it's an opportunity uh, we've got very good uh, in, in the, the stock market in gcc most of them very good listed company uh, and uh, really has a good market share good potential so it is targeted as well to be you know to be uh, uh, you know, uh, have a share of that company and really to uh, be on the board of that of these uh, companies as a shareholders uh, give them the right to be. So it is um, we're going to really face out after this crisis in the GCC a lot of changes, reflecting the changes that in the international market. But it will have its own identity, and it is on, uh, you know, and it's going to be through it is uh, on scenarios, different scenarios, uh, in a way that then it will be in the international market. Uh, now, let me ask you, uh, Ellie, about uh, the role of the GCC stock market in the economic uh, reform uh, process. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how could they avoid the recession in the in this era? Well, it's difficult to say because, uh, I mean, it's such a sensitive area in general. The, the stock exchanges, they are, um, you know, they're based sometimes on speculation, people's images of what's going on. And again, you know, what is a key role when you look at stock exchange uh, and, and the fluctuations and the volatility? Of course, there's a lot of interconnectability between countries, um, but that's mainly based of, on the fact of information that comes over from different countries on what's going on in these countries or on a world basis. Mm -hmm. um, so again, I think when you look at what's happening in the stock exchange, it's an indicator of the type of information people get, the news, information about companies going up or down. Um, as we see now, crisis all over the world, it has a, a direct impact of, on what's happening locally on the stock exchange and in the GCC. I think, again, this is where the Oxford Business Group has tried to fill a key gap in information provision. Um, not in speaking about opportunities and, and, and talking a lot about what is potentially there, but actually covering real projects and real ground uh, opportunities that we can see from where we are here in the kingdom. And I think that is important that in the long run people understand that these opportunities are there to be taken for the long term and that what we're looking at now um, is mainly well, let's say a time of inaction. People are afraid to do things. They, you know, people are a little bit hesitant to invest. Um, but that will be just a period of time. These investment opportunities will still be there for the long term. I okay. think maybe you want to add something okay. to that as well. <clears throat> definitely. No, it's just uh, one thing I'd like to add is definitely when you look at the regional uh, stock markets, uh, in essence, they're relatively young compared to other more mature markets such as in Europe and or the United States. Uh, it, unfortunately, because of uh, the um, the pegging that uh, local currencies have to the U.S. dollar, might have some kind of correlation to what's going on uh, overseas. Uh, but with that being said, it's important to also highlight uh, these steps uh, that local entities uh, within the local governments have taken to assure investors that you know their investment is sound. Uh, you have announcements 